Is. Let's get out our handy dandy list of identifying characteristics of a crustacean. That's a great idea, Casey. Good opportunity to review. Well, this is a list of what makes a crustacean a crustacean. The first identifying characteristic is that their body consists of a head with five appendages, the antenna, the antennules, three pairs of feeding appendages, which are one pair of mandibles, and two pair of maxillae. They also have a hard chitinous exoskeleton, which in most cases is its shell. This makes them an invertebrate. They have segmented body parts, a head, thorax, and abdomen, or as shown in crayfish, they often have a cephalothorax and an abdomen. They also have biromous appendages. Biromous means they have two branches. One branch is the gill branch, and the other branch is the leg branch. Decapods order decapods, which is within the phylum Crustacea, have a gastric mill. Some decapods have claws called chelipeds. Woohoo! <laughs> now we're ready to find some crustaceans! Let's go, guys! Woo! Alright, let's go find some crustaceans. Wait, 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 wait. I'm so confused still. There's so many different types of crustaceans. That's right, there are a lot of crustaceans. Uh, such as order decapoda with lazars, cra crabs, and crayfish, order isopoda with pill bugs, uh, class maxillopoda with barnacles, and class branchiopoda. But today, we'll just be focusing on pill bugs, crabs, crayfish, and barnacles. Alright. Yep, sounds easy enough. So, before we go, some differences between them are habitat and eating style. As far as the habitats go, some of them can live on land, some of them can live in the open sea, some of them live on the sea floor, and some of them just live in freshwater streams like this one. Uh, also, as far as eating habits go, some crustaceans are predators or scavengers, while others are just plant eaters, and some are even detritus eaters, like fiddler clads, um, which means they eat rotted plants and animals. Ew, gross. Yeah, disgusting. Uh, barnacles are examples of filter feeders. And some of them can even be parasites, such as copepods. Oh no! Yeah. While crustaceans and order decapoda have ten legs as their characteristics, barnacles as adults are sessile with larvae that are free living, and some go under met metamorphosis while others do not. Interesting. So now that we're more informed, let's go! Bye! I see one! I see a crustacean! I got it! I got it! This is a barnacle! Oh, it's so cool! It is a barnacle. A barnacle appears like a mollusk, but their body actually has the same features as crustaceans, which is why it is classified as one. Barnacles undergo metamorphosis. Their larva form swims in the sea and has eyes, but when it grows into adult, it sticks to a hard surface like a rock and it loses its eyes, sadly. They make shells made up of parts called plates. The body is made up of a head and a thorax with 12 legs. Ooh! It lies on its back with its legs on top. The legs come out of the body between the shells so we can feed on organic materials since they are filter feeders. I just journeyed through the stream. It was a long trek. Whoa! What is that? It looks like it's a pill bug. What's a pill bug? Pill bugs are members of the order Isopod. These creatures live on land, unlike most crustaceans which live in the water. Most pill bugs are less than three and a fourth of an inch long, but some, like this one, can grow up to be 16 inches long. Many have flat bodies with their eyes on the surface of their head. There are four, there are appendages including four antennae, ten slimerets, and fourteen legs. There is not a carapace covering the head and thorax, and their thoracic is often reduced. Their abdominal is absent. 
When the pill bug is threatened, he will curl up into a ball. <laughs> I can't believe after two days we didn't find anything. No crayfish. Oh, okay, so disappointed. We didn't find any crayfish. I know, I feel defeated. Wait a second. Oh my god, we have one! Wow, we probably didn't see it because crayfish can blend in so well with their environment. Wow, look at all these appendages. The first couple appendages on crayfish are meant for feeding, but the last five are walking legs. Although, sometimes the first walking leg can be modified into a claw, like this one. They also have other appendages, including the carapace, which covers the abdomen and the thorax, and is a very thick, hard shell for protection. They have a long abdomen, a tail fan, which contains the telson and the uropod surrounding it, and they also have 10 swimmerettes. They have antenna up here and eye socks for where their eyes sit on top. Wow, those are all characteristics of decapods. Yes, it is. Decapods all have a rostrum and a carapace, and the interesting thing about them is that they don't undergo metamorphosis. Another interesting fact about crayfish is that they're a very aggressive group of animals. They actually have a social hierarchy where the top crayfish can get the most access to resources. So they kind of battle over the top spot. Also, something surprising is that larger groups of crayfish are actually less aggressive, opposite of what you might think. Wow, it's so much, guys. I just heard that Rachel found an amazing find. Oh my god, it's so exciting. Oh, oh, I caught it. It's a crab. Oh my god, this is so amazing. <laughs> Look at it. Wow, a real crab. A crab is a member of the order Decapod. You know, some organisms call themselves crabs, but only true crabs are from the order Decapod. Look at its carapace covering its head and its thorax. That shows it's a Decapod. There are 10 legs. It has a small abdomen and folded flat underneath its thorax. It has short antennae with eyes, often on eye stalks.